Good morning. Welcome to my Monday breakfast of vegan eggs and bacon and coffee and orange juice. And I rarely make it this fancy this early in the morning. It is 8 a.m. Michael went off to Trondheim today, so he's gonna be away this week. And I didn't film much last week or the week before that either, just because I've been feeling so tired and my vlog would have been mostly me sleeping all the time, everywhere. <laughs> so today what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our breakfast, we're gonna do some creative work, and then I'm gonna drive down to my hometown and stay with my mom for this week. So I'm gonna bring you along for that as well. So yes, I need to finish my food, have a shower, and I'll see you guys later. There we go, I've showered, I've put my makeup on, I did a bit of an Instagram photo, and that's been edited in Lightroom and Photoshop, and I posted it on Instagram. And now I think I'm gonna pack and get ready. The drive to my mom's place is about an hour and 15 minutes if there's no traffic, but if I'm gonna make that time and not end up stuck in rush traffic, then I need to get ready.
last day here in my hometown before I go home. I'm really tired. I did not sleep well last night. Yes. Hey, Dago. So this is not the house that I grew up in. My, both my dad and my mom um, have moved several times after that. So this is not like my childhood home, but there's still a lot of pictures around from when I was a kid. So I thought I would hunt some down and show you. That's my mom. My mom and my stepdad. It is now Friday, it's a little over 5 p.m. Now I'm just gonna read a bit before Michael gets home from Trondheim, and then we'll see. For this week's vlog. Uh, I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to but I kind of just needed to recharge and get back into things because I, I needed it a few weeks. There are some limitations and physical challenges that I'm going through with this pregnancy and sometimes I just gotta listen to my body and kind of take it slow. But for the end of this vlog I just want to do a small thrift haul from uh, the the trip that I took to the thrift store with my mom and my stepdad. So what I got was four books and a mug. And the first book that I got was a hardback copy of Stephen King's Hearts in Atlantis, which is a Stephen King novel that I haven't read before. So I'm excited about this. I don't really know what it's about even. I haven't seen the movie adaptation either. So that's gonna be interesting. Look forward to reading that. The next books that I got were all in Norwegian and by the same Norwegian author. I've read one of his books before and I absolutely loved it. It was recommended to me by my father and I've been thinking about it a lot ever since. It's been years since I read it and it was the third book in a series. I know that sounds weird but you can easily read that one as a standalone but I want to read the rest of the series. It is thriller suspense and the author is Tom Eglan, which he's known kind of as the Norwegian version of Dan Brown. Uh, so uh, he writes thriller and suspense novels. And these stories, they follow the uh, al albino archaeologist Björn Belte, who is trying to unsolve a lot of old mysteries. So I now have book one, two and five that I found there which is the first one is Sirklens Emma. So I'm gonna read this one pretty soon. And then the second one is Paktens Voktere. I'm pretty sure the first and the second novel has been translated to English. Um, if I can find it, I will link it down below so you can find them as well. And then book five is this one, Den Tretne Disippel. So I'm excited about all of these and to finally be able to uh, continue on reading those. And then for the final thing that I found was this really cute mug. Now I grew up uh, watching and reading Winnie the Pooh, so when I found this I just knew I had to have it. That is it for the uh, small thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.